Hello everybody, yes I'm finally doing this. Um, I just fixed my computer, um, so I'm very excited so I have the internet and I have sound. So I didn't need the freaking Geek Squad to come fix my computer and it was then like $200 or something. So I fixed it myself because that's, that's how good I am. Ooh -ooh. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's just get on with it. This has been long overdue. So anyways, I will start talking about um, movies I've seen in theaters. Um, I saw two of them so, um, so far this year. Um, the first one I saw was last week, and I saw The Devil Inside. And um, let's just say the movie was supposed to be around an hour and a half. And uh, that's what it said. <laughs> and... Apparently, it was only, like, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, or, like, an hour and 10. It did not last very long. All I can say is, it's, it wasn't, it, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Um, the only thing I was, um, very disappointed was the ending. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to say what it is in case you want to go and see it for yourself. Um, it was pretty good other than that. Um, I will give it two and a half, maybe three stars. <laughs> um, but yeah, they could have made it a little longer, and it could have made the ending a little better. But now once I'm thinking about it, I think they might have ended it that way, because maybe they're planning on doing like a sequel type of thing like they did with Paranormal Activity which is the only thing that I can think of um because sometimes Paranormal Activity kind of ends in that way too where you don't really like the ending and you're like what the hell what the hell is going to happen next well <laughs> that's what this one was kind of like except for this one was more it left everybody pissed off um and wanting their money back I liked the movie, I just wish it would have been longer, and that the ending would have been a little more better, more planned out. Um, it just seemed like, oh, we need to end this movie, let's just end it this way. No. But, I mean, I, I guess I understand with the writers what they wanted to do, I'm not going to complain about that, but they could have ended it a little better. But it did good in theater, so made a lot of money. Um, hopefully they make another sequel. If they do, I'll be seeing it. Um, so I'm not saying it was the worst movie I've ever seen. I've seen way worse movies than that. Um, it wasn't bad. It was actually pretty good. Me and my cousin thought it was pretty good, except for we just complained about the ending and how short it was. <laughs> this is something they could air on TV, say HBO or Showtime, and it would have been really good. Someone keeps text messaging me. <laughs> Sorry if I, if I get a little distracted. I keep hearing mm -hmm, noise, the vibration. But anyways, yeah. So I say two and a half to three stars on that movie, which is not too bad. I just wish it would have made it longer. And the ending was crappy. It leaves you wanting more, and it leaves you pissed off. That's all I can say. Anyways, as for the second movie, I went and saw Mission Impossible. Do, 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 do. Anyways, um, Mr. Tom Cruise was in it, and let's just say I've seen all of the Mission Impossible movies. The first one was the best, the second one was not that great, the third one was, was, was okay. This one was the best out of all of them. The best. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Tom Cruise. Um, my favorite movie with him in it is Interview with the Vampire. Love that movie. It's my favorite. Um, but I'm not a big Tom Cruise fan. But anyway, I did like him in this movie. He was actually pretty good. I would go see it. I give it four and a half stars out of five. So it's pretty good. I might even give it five stars because I thought it was awesome. Um, Jeremy Renner is in it. Um, he's from, crap, I can't think of the movies he was in. Well, I know he's in the Avengers movie that's coming out in May go check that out. Um, he plays Hawkeye. I can't think of that military movie that he was in where he's, where he's in the military and he defuses bombs. 
the D the D I D is that what it is? I don't know. Anyways, I forgot what the movie's called. But anyways, it was no the Hurt Locker. The I knew it would come to me eventually. <laughs> he was in the Hurt Locker. He's pretty good in this movie. And um, a guest cameo in this movie is by none other than the, the <laughs> the English Josh Holloway, um, A.K.A. James Sawyer Ford from Lost. Woo woo. <laughs> Um, his hair is short, so it's not long like it was. At first, when he cut his hair that short, I was like, eh, I'm not liking that. You're used to his Sawyer long hair type style. But I, I actually like it short. He, so he looks pretty good. But yes, he has a cameo in it. And it's like, yay, you get to see him again. It's been a while, right? Since the Lost shows ended, it's been a while. I kind of miss it. I really do need to start watching the DVDs again. Anyway, but... Anyways, the movie was really good. The storyline was awesome. The action scenes were awesome. It was just, it was good. <laughs> really, 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 really good. I advise you see it. Um, if you like action, if you, it has even some comedy in it because Simon Pegg is in it. And he plays um, the new Scotty um, on, in the new Star Trek movies. And he's pretty funny. He's hilarious. So he does provide comedy in the movie. And, um, so yeah, you get comic relief, you get, I'm not going to say romance, there's not really much romance in it, there's a lot of action, um, drama, all of that rolled in one is actually pretty good. So, even the girls will come to see because there's some eye candy in it, there's a lot of eye candy in it, a lot of hot guys, <laughs> anyways, but yeah, and the woman in it, Paula Patton, she's married to Robin Thicke, um, She's very pretty, and she's a very good actress, so I advise you go see the movie, because it has a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, I'm not sure how long the movie was. It might have been a little over two hours, but it didn't seem like it lasted that long, because the movie that good. It's pretty good, so I would go see it. And if you don't, I would definitely buy it on DVD instead of running it, because it's actually awesome. <laughs> okay, the next order of business is um, some DVD stuff. Um, anyways, the so one I recently bought, I bought the new Fright Night. Um, if you haven't seen it, I would advise you to rent it, because it is really good. And if you like it, buy it. Um, or if you're a Colin Farrell fan, it's pretty good. And, uh, what's his name? Anton, um, I can't think of his name. Anton Yelchin. He's on Star Trek, and he was in Alpha Dog with Justin Timberlake. And, um, he's in Charlie Bartlett. He's in a lot of movies. He's a really good actor. Um, he's in it, and he plays the boy in it. Um, it's, you know, if you like, if you're a fan of vampires, you'll definitely love this movie. And Colin Farrell does a really good job. He plays the main vampire. Um, God, what's his name? I've seen this movie several different times, and I can't even think of it. Jerry. Jerry Danridge, that's it. Anyways, oh, I couldn't think of it. I'm going blank today. But anyways, yes, he plays Jerry, the the vampire next door, <laughs> and he's really good. He's a very believable vampire. When I found out he was going to be cast as Jerry, I was super excited because I can see him playing a vampire because he kind of looks like he would be a really great vampire because he kind of looks the part. He kind of fits the part. Um, so yeah, he was really, really good. I was really surprised. And the storyline is way different from the original. If you haven't seen the original, it's the 80s version. Um, that came out, does it say what, when the year it came out? Um, it doesn't say. 85. Yeah. <laughs> um, the original is, how do I say, if you watch it, like I watched, I think I first watched it two years ago. And when I watched it, I could not stop laughing because the effects on it are so bad, but I guess back then the effects were pretty pretty darn good. But it's, it's comical. The movie was actually comical. <laughs> so when, they thought, when I heard they were going to remake it, I was kind of skeptical about it. But I knew that they were going to do a good job and I knew the special effects were going to be really good. Um, I was just hoping that the storyline would be a little better. And it was. So the storyline in the new one... It's way better than the old one. I mean, there's some similarities in it, but this one is, by hands down, way better. <laughs> um, yeah. 
And there's some cameos from the original people in the Friday Night movie. Um, let's see how many stars I would give it. I would say I would give it four stars. It's a pretty good movie, and I saw it in theaters, and it was awesome. Um, yeah, so that's why I definitely bought on DVD. And of course, the DVD I thought was kind of expensive, because it's got the 3D film in it, and it's got the Blu-ray, and it's got the DVD, and the digital copy. <laughs> I paid way more than I wanted to, but that's the only thing that they had besides the DVD copy. So in order for me to get the Blu-ray copy, I had to buy that pack right there. <laughs> Anyways, it was worth the buy, because I love the movie really, really, really good. So if you're a fan of vampires or if you're a fan of Colin Farrell or Anton Yelchin or um, the one lady, I can't think of her name, she's on the United States of Tara. She's in it. She plays his mom. So if you're a fan of any of those actors or if you like, it does have comedy in it. Oh, I got that. Oh my gosh. What's the one guy's name? I can't think of his name. David Tennant. He's in it. Um, <laughs> He's the original Doctor Who, but anyways, he's in it, and he's hilarious, and he's kind of like the Chris Angel type in the movie, it's really funny, but anyways, um, yeah, so if you like vampires, you like evil, you like comedy, romance, it has all that stuff in it, <laughs> it's just really good, I would at least check it out, because it's awesome, anyways, um, let me think what else I would talk about. Um, I recently bought, what did I do with it? I'm sorry, I should be more prepared. I bought Justified Season 2, and I'm now on Episode 9. <laughs> I was 13, and I have to get caught up because it starts Tuesday night at 10 o'clock, the Season 3. So, I definitely have to get caught up before then. So, hopefully I'll be able to watch a few more episodes before I go to bed. <laughs> Um, so far, so good. It's really good. I do love the show. I love the show. I'm, all the actors are so awesome in it. They're so great. Very talented group of people. Um, Timothy Oliphant's in it. He plays um, Marshall Raylan Gibbons. And um, let's just say he's hot. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a fan of his. He's, he's a really good actor. Um, I'm trying to think what movies he's been in. He was in the new Die Hard movie live free, die hard, he's a bad guy in that one. He was in Crazies, if you've seen the Crazies. Um, he was in I Am Number Four. He was in a lot of, a lot, lot of movies. And, um, yeah, so he plays the Marshal, and he's, he's just really great. I'm surprised he hasn't won an Emmy or anything. And then Walter, uh, I think it's Goggins, I think what his name is. He plays Boyd Crowder, and he is a great actor as well. He's really good. Um, he was in The Shield. I can't think of what other... Oh, he did have a guest star appearance in the, in the new Straw Dogs movie, the remake. He was in that. Um, he's in a lot of different things. I can't think of any more at the top of my head. But he's a really good actor, and he definitely needs to win an Emmy, too, because he's really good. Um, it, you know, resides... He's a uh, community all fan. Like I said, he plays a U.S. Marshal. And originally, he was in Miami, and that's where he resided. But then he shot somebody, and basically he got reassigned back to his hometown of Harland, Kentucky. So he goes back um, to Lexington. Um, but yeah, which I think is awesome that it resides in Kentucky. You don't see many shows that reside in Kentucky. Um, and that's where I live, if you would know why I'm so excited about it, because I do live in Kentucky. But I don't live in the southern part. I don't live near Lexington. I live more near Louisville, more towards the northern part. Um, so, yeah, if you watch the show, you go, like, oh, she lives in Kentucky. <laughs> it's not, no, I do not. I live more towards the city area. Um, so, no. And uh, plus, I haven't lived here all my life. I've only lived here, been, what, now 11 years? So no. But yeah, I'm sure there's probably people that act like that more towards the southern regions. I don't want to bad mouth anybody, but yeah. I mean, hopefully it's not stereotypical when they think everybody from Kentucky are rednecks. I'm not, I'm sorry. Although, I will admit to one thing, I do hate wearing shoes, but I don't run around with my shoes off all the time. Um, <laughs> 
But yeah, I am getting a little bit of an accent that I've been living here, but I've moved around since I was a baby. My dad was in the military, so I haven't lived here my whole life. But my mom ha has when she was younger. This is her birthplace. So yeah, that's why we're here, because her whole family lives here. But anyways, um, I like Kentucky, so I'm not going to badmouth it at all. <laughs> But I do find it, I do get really excited when they mention places like Louisville or Lexington or anything like that. I'm like, oh yeah, I know where that's at. But anyways, and yes, there is a Harlan County in Kentucky. Um, it's near the Tennessee border, I think, near Lexington. So that is true. But I don't think they actually filmed the show in Lexington. I think I actually looked it up, and I don't think they actually filmed in Lexington. I think they found a place somewhere that looks like Lexington, that looks like Harlan County. I'm not sure. I don't know. Something about the guy that does this show. He was born there or lived there when he was younger. I don't know. Something like that. Anyways. But yeah, I have the first season on DVD. So um, I would suggest you rent it or buy it. Um, you can go on, I think you can go on Netflix and rent it. Um, I would suggest you try to see it because it's really, really good. Um, really good. Uh, and it's based on the book called Fire in the Hole, or a short story, something like that. It's really good. So yeah, here's season one, and this is season two. And uh, it just came out on DVD last week. And season three starts on Tuesday on FX at 10 p.m. So I will definitely be watching it. Hopefully I can catch up with the last few episodes before then, because I really, really, really need to know before the season three starts, because I don't want to be lost. Um, but yeah, I would check out those. I think those are all the stuff that I recently bought. Um, but yeah, anyways, check those.